This is a potato, a vegetable that doesn't even need to be introduced and today I'm going to try your potato recipes to find my favorite. We are going to be rating them on the basis of creativity, ease and taste. So let's get you started with the first one. Achari alu bhorta by Sadia. Slice an onion into thin slices and then heat up some oil in a pan. I could be totally off but I do believe Bengalis love to use mustard oil when they're cooking so that's what I used. Add the onions to the oil as well as dry red chilies and let this simmer on low heat for the chili to get crisp and the onions to get caramelized and it just starts smelling really amazing. Add the onions and chilies with the oil to a boiled potato, some achar. I chose the store bought mixed vegetable achar and obviously some salt. Mash it well with your fingers for all of it to come together and just serve on top of some freshly steamed rice. I really really enjoyed this. It's tangy, salty, savory, very hearty and there's just so much flavor in there. I've actually made it twice till now for my mom and she also just eats it with some rice and she loves it. I really hope auntie thinks I did okay in making this and I'll give this a 9.5 for creativity, easily a 10 for ease. Did you see what I did there? And 9.5 for taste. So so good. Baked Stuffed Potato by Sile. I've actually had the proper authentic version of this one and they had so many toppings available and I remember being so confused and I asked for all the toppings which was definitely not a good choice. And yeah, there was too much going on. I did not end up liking it. But this one is nice. It's nice and simple. Poke holes in a potato and drizzle olive oil and salt on top and massage it nicely to get the potato well coated. Bake at 180 for 40 to 50 minutes till the potato is cooked. Okay, so the potato has cooked inside out, so we make a cut through the center and open it. It was super hot, which is why my hand movements are just all over the place, but you basically just need to mash it, fluff the potato a bit and then add the fillings. We are doing chili flakes, corn, spring onions, oregano and mozzarella. Uh, I am clearly going to like this one. Mix the fillings with the potato and then finish with a healthy amount of cheddar and mozzarella and bake till the cheese melts. You asked me to add some sour cream but that wasn't available to me so I just added some sour yogurt which is a great replacement. I am such a big sucker for cheese pulls. That in itself is enough for me to love a dish. No but seriously on an honest note this was nice. It was pretty nice. The potato is definitely the star of the show with the other ingredients enhancing it and it is a fun way to eat a potato. I'll give this an 8 for creativity. 7 for ease because you can pretty much just put in the oven, forget about it and then use it. But we are also taking the time into consideration so it just lowers the score a bit and 8.5 for taste. A crispy potato chart by Ashleesha. We start by taking a few peeled potatoes and then grate them. Transfer the grated potatoes to iced water that's mixed with some salt and just let it sit for 15 minutes. Strain the potatoes and try to squeeze out as much water as possible and this does take a decent amount of force. To the grated potatoes, I'm adding equal portions of cornstarch and all-purpose flour, some salt and pepper and mix and some chopped spring onions which Ashleesha said is optional but I definitely don't think so. If you're making this, add the spring onions. I mixed everything with a spoon and the texture of this is actually like a non-sticky dough. Transfer the potatoes to a pan that's been oiled with around 2 tablespoons of olive oil and just spread it out like a dosa but a bit thicker. You kind of have to be patient in this part because the potatoes are a bit of a task to spread because there's no liquid in there. So it, it takes time but it will work because there's cornstarch in the batter which will just keep everything together. I cooked this for 5 minutes and flipped and the color this had. It's just so beautiful. I cooked the other side too for 5 minutes and just listen to that crunch and crisp. This crispy potato pancake is a base for our toppings and we're doing tomatoes, onions, curd, tamarind chutney, chaat masala, salt, kala namak and sev. And I chose alu bhujia because this is an alu video so perfectly suitable. And finally coriander. Okay so when I first read this recipe. No offense to you but these were my exact thoughts. It is a thin hash brown roasty situation and I don't even think the toppings are necessary. It, it, it sounds nice but it's nothing special, you know. Listen, I was, I was wrong. 
this is special and it is amazing probably my favorite in this video i love aloo chaat but i've never had an aloo chaat like this one before and it is so so good the spring onions add this incredible savory flavor to the crunchy potato pancake and the toppings are just a beautiful bonus i love this so much i don't think i am able to make you understand how much i like this love this like like is an understatement loved i'll have to give this a 9.5 for creativity 7 for ease which i am sad but it takes time and 10 for taste obviously potato cutlets by feroza so i just i just want to start off by saying feroza you have such a beautiful name like it's it's so delicate and beautiful and it's it's so pretty i'm sure you already get this a lot but i just had to say it like this is the name i would use in a song yeah i seriously hope i didn't sound creepy but back back to the recipe so this recipe was actually sent by a lot of you but the reason i chose feroza's recipe is because of the glaze she adds later first with the cheesy potato pancakes take a few boiled potatoes and mash them with a fork add in cornstarch and salt and knead it into a soft dough divide the dough into smaller portions flatten them a bit using your fingers and then stuff with mozzarella we'll flatten our cheese potato balls just a bit and then shallow fry in oil we want to fry them till they're golden on both sides and now you can eat them just like this but feroza does this extra glaze by heating up soy sauce sugar salt and water and then letting the potato cutlet soak up all that flavor and the sauce is on the sweeter side but you know i just love a good sweet and savory combo so i am just all here for it see this one has a cheese pull so i automatically loved it but yeah it is actually really flavorful This one has less than seven ingredients, and it genuinely tastes like something you'd go out and order. I'll give this an eight point five for creativity, a nine for ease, and nine point five for taste. Aloo masala by Ifat. Heat up a few tablespoons of mustard oil in a pot, and then add whole spices to it. We are doing black pepper, coriander seeds, mustard seeds, cumin seeds, fenugreek seeds, onion seeds, fennel seeds, and bay leaf, and a little bit of hing. Temper these for a few minutes for the spices to pop, and then we add onions. Mix and just cook till the onions are translucent, and then we add the potatoes. These are raw potatoes diced into cubes, and I'm just gonna let the potatoes fry in the oil for four minutes or so till they have a nice golden color. Now we'll add the powdered spices. There's turmeric, chili powder, cumin, and salt, as well as chopped tomatoes and green chilies. Mix well, and this also deglazes the pot. Cover and cook for a few minutes till the tomatoes are soft and mushy, and the oil starts to separate. Add in hot water so the potatoes can fully absorb that water and cook through, and also some garam masala and ketchup. I know ketchup sounds odd, but it isn't, cause it is technically just tomatoes and sugar, so it 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 really isn't weird at all. Finally, finishing with lots of fresh coriander, and this is ready to be served with a paratha. Let me tell you something. I'm from Calcutta, so growing up, we used to have sabzi ka chori almost every single weekend, and I only ate sabzis from very specific places. If it wasn't to my liking, which it actually wasn't a lot of times, I would just eat the ka chori with dahi. So I mean it when I say this is a really delicious aloo masala. It is very hearty with all the spices, a bit tangy, which I love, and overall really good. I'll give this a 7.5 for creativity, a 7 for ease cuz other than gathering the ingredients which do take a lot of time, it is a one pot recipe and it's very simple and easy to follow and 9 for taste. Potato lasagna by Saatchi. We start by cooking our frozen french fries so you can bake air fry or deep fry but Saatchi just puts it in a bread griller and lets it cook to have this grilled pattern on them so I started with a few french fries which weren't cooking because they weren't getting enough heat from both sides which I'm guessing is because they were in a thin layer so I just added more and then I even pushed them towards the center and then I flipped them grilled them 
I basically gave them a lot of time to cook and they finally did. They did finally get that color, but it was way too time consuming and I personally would not recommend this process. I think a mini waffle iron could do a better job if you want to try this process out, but yeah, don't worry, I'm not going to hold this against you cuz I'm pretty sure I did something wrong. And to be fair, you did give me more options to cook them. For the tomato sauce part, we heat up some garlic butter and cook roughly chopped tomatoes in it as well as coriander, spring onion, garlic, basil, mint powder and salt, pepper, oregano. We basically want to cook this till the tomatoes have turned mushy and the greens have wilted. This is an extra step I did. I just blended the sauce for like 10 seconds. I just blended the sauce to get a smoother consistency, but this is obviously not altering any ingredients. I'm guessing you used a lot more tomatoes than I used, which would naturally give you a runnier sauce without blending. But yeah, we just did what we had to do. Okay, now let's assemble. The fries go as the base, then the herby tomato sauce, chopped onions and basil, oregano and regular processed cheese. Repeat this till the container is filled and I feel like the soup bowl was just so perfect for this recipe. Finish with mozzarella cheese on top and microwave for 90 seconds or till the cheese melts. Final garnish of ketchup and coriander and this was genuinely amazing. Potatoes and cheese are known to be dense but the amount of freshness the onions and herbs give to this, it is easy to make and it is very satisfying. Clearly, I am biased because of that cheese pull so I, I actually think we should do a cheese episode. I'll give this a 10 for creativity, a 7.5 for ease and 9 for taste. Desi Tacos by Prerna. To a boiled potato, add coriander, garam masala, chili powder and chaat masala and mash till it's all combined. I'm making a quick green chutney with coriander, mint powder, green chilies, lemon juice, salt, pepper and cottage cheese. I cannot stop putting cottage cheese in literally all of my sauces. It's, it's pretty much a game changer honestly. It adds this creaminess while also adding some protein. Slice the tomato and onions into thin slices and now let's assemble our taco. Take a roti and to one side add green chutney, to the other side add tamarind chutney. Apply the aloo mix on either of the sides and then we add cheese, tomato slices and onions. Close the taco and place on a pan to toast for a couple of minutes per side till crispy. I'm serving with ketchup and this was nice. It was very quick to whip together and pretty filling as well. It's kind of giving aloo paratha but with like a Frankie touch if that makes sense. I'll give this a 9 for creativity, a 9 for ease and 8 for taste. Final verdict, if you're looking for a creative recipe, then you should definitely try the potato lasagna. For a quick, easy, convenient meal, alu bhorto is just perfect. And if you don't care about the previous two factors and you just simply want to focus on taste, you kind of have to try the chart. And overall, taking all the factors into consideration, alu bhorta wins with 29 points. And yeah, that is it for me rating your recipes. I hope you enjoyed this one and stay tuned to my community posts to get updated about the upcoming parts. If you're interested in me trying your recipes, I'll see you soon on my next one. Bye. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her.